Hello, everybody. Welcome back to MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision. I'm Jim Powers. Glad to have you with us as we continue our Skype series with our student athletes and especially those that are being named Saints of the Week. And joining us from the women's volleyball team is Allie Lampin. And Allie, a very special weekend for you as as a sophomore broke the school record for digs in a career. How does that make you feel? Um, I mean, it's really exciting, but this year it was just a lot easier because we have two freshman middles that are going in and, and you know, they're getting their hands on balls, sewing it down for me. So that helps a lot. Talk a little bit about your position and me and coach Phillips talked about this yesterday in our coaches interview, but being a libero, it's like that defensive specialist and it's still kind of relatively new to you know, a lot of the old-time volleyball folks. Talk about how you prepare and what makes you so good at the libero position. Well, really, it's just about reading the hitter, especially from the middle back. Um, you know, if you see a, a hitter's shoulders turn, that's where I know I need to be. Um, again, we have really good middles this year that help me out. If they're in their spot, then I know exactly where to go. And, um, yeah, it's just a lot of fun. Absolutely. And you just mentioned, you know, the, the blockers up front, and the middle hitters up, up front. Talk about the mix of the, the incoming freshmen that have just done a fantastic job and the veterans. It's been really a lot of fun to watch you guys kind of mesh together over the beginning part of the season. Yeah, it's a lot of fun because um, everyone's um, into the system now. Uh, our middles are doing a great job. They're pulling blockers so that they're getting a lot of kills, but then also they're pulling the blockers so that our outsides and right sides can get a lot of balls. And our system just really running smoothly this year. And I think that's why we've been playing more consistent. You know, the one thing I've noticed too, and I'm not a volleyball guy, but the one thing that I've noticed is you guys are really attacking a lot more. You know, you getting the digs, getting it up front to Taryn, and then Taryn distributing to the hitters on the outside. It just seems like there's a lot better flow and a lot more attacking style this year than there was maybe last year. Yeah, right. Again, we've just been really working on our consistency. And the group that is playing has pretty much played together for a year and a half now. So we kind of know what each other is going to do. Um, I know exactly where Taryn and Hannah want the ball. And uh, the hitters know, or they, the setters know where the hitters want the ball. So this year it's just running a lot more smoothly. And for you, you've actually played a lot with some of the uh, student athletes on the team for you know even in your high school days if you didn't yeah. play with them during club or high school you played against them so there's some great bonds that are on the volleyball team this year again oh yeah for sure we're all really close and we've seen each other's playing styles before so I think that helps us a lot let's talk a little bit about you what are you majoring in how's everything going uh, for your sophomore year it's good um, I'm majoring in financial services I'll actually be graduating early um, nice so next year will be my last year. That's awesome. That's mm -hmm. awesome. How do you juggle, and I ask all of our student athletes this, how do you juggle practice, games, travel, and homework in your studies? Because I know there's that fine line. Yeah, you know, it's actually easier, I think, during season to juggle everything. Although it's really time-consuming and you have to squeeze some stuff in. We, I have a set schedule that I go to practice, go to class, do homework. Whenever I'm out of season, I'm kind of lost. I'm like... <laughs> I actually have all this free time. I don't know. I don't know when to do everything. So during season, I think it's it's pretty easy to juggle because you you pretty much have a set schedule. All right, I'm going to ask you some questions now. There's no hedging. No <laughs> right. hedging at all. Number one, favorite food over a gander. Uh, deli. Best part of playing for Coach Phillips. Just a lot of fun. Worst part of playing for Coach Phillips. <laughs> 4.30 to 6.30 p.m. practices. <laughs> Ouch. Um, who's, who's the biggest practical jokester in the locker room for you guys? <laughs> Obviously, Sydney Long. <laughs> <laughs> and I know you're saying that because she's in the room with you. So. <laughs> no, she's, she's actually in the next room, but it's true. <laughs> you know, so, and, and that's the cool thing, uh, you know, in, in seeing you guys over the last couple of years. And I always try and find out, you know, talk about a little bit about how neat it is friendship wise and stuff. And you just touched upon it, you know, really close bonds, but I'm sure traveling wise too, it, it makes it a lot easier to help the freshmen make that transition because 
you remember last year, you were the freshman not used to travel, and now you guys are embarking pretty much on a month-long road trip. I mean, yeah. talk a little bit about what your role in helping the freshmen are going to be. Well, I'm sure they're going to be kind of stressed out with school because we're going to be missing classes and stuff. Um, I'm sure they're going to kind of be wondering about how professors are going to handle that, and I think all the upperclassmen are going to do a good job of helping them to know like how to communicate with professors and getting everything done and when we need to get everything done. Um, they honestly, at this point, don't even seem like freshmen to any of us anymore. So um, they're kind of just in the mix and we'll just help them out with little odds and ends things on the road. And we're going to uh, tackle this road trip together. Outstanding. Well, Allie, it's great to talk to you as always. And big road trip for you guys this weekend coming up. Rockhurst and William Joel and you guys are right in the thick of things to make it to the conference tournament. It's really yeah. good to see. Yeah, we're right there. Hopefully, end of the season, can, we can be a little bit stronger and um, pull out a conference tournament. Outstanding, Allie. Thanks so much for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Allie Lampin joins us as we chat with our Saints of the Week via Skype. Right here on MaryvilleSaints.com and Saints Vision, I'm Jim Powers, the voice of the Saints. Glad to have you with us. Have a great week, and as always, go Saints.